Hi, welcome back to Fashion Illustration Tribe. I want to give you some tips today. Uh, we're always looking for tips, right? Multimedia, mixing, trying new supplies. So something I really want to tell you about today, China Marker. You probably know about China Marker, and maybe you don't. It's like um, a grease pencil, they would say. Actually, it's not oily. It's more waxy. But you see if I... I get this really opaque white when I use it on top of things. That's actually why I first bought it. I use it for highlights. Like, actually on this illustration, you won't be able to see on the wall back there. I'll show you later. Um, but you can use it on top of things to get white that shows really opaque. You can use that for shine or to show stitching or things like that. Um, the other thing I have here is it's just a white crayon. And what I'm teaching you about today is batik um, or a batik effect. Batik is like a wax resist fabric. Um, I do a lot of work with African prints, so I'm a big, you know, I'm always doing resist kind of stuff. I don't see one right here. But let's say if you were illustrating or just playing with your paints and you were creating fabric and you wanted it to be um, like tie dyed or wax resist, I'm just going to show you how these two different pencils work. So this is just a crayon. I bought this as like a pack. Crayola makes something like this. This one, I think I got at Staples years ago. But they're just crayons that come in a plastic thing. So I might, you might create a pattern. You do have to press a little bit hard because if you don't, um, it may not resist enough. You can't see what I'm drawing, but you will see soon. I'm just going to make some. And then I'm going to uh, take water with my tempera cakes, which just love these to death. I love them because you get a full, um, you know, primary color, streak primary colors, plus a green, black and white. With that, you can mix every color in the world, just about. So I'm gonna take a whole bunch of water and mix it in to my blue. Um, another great thing about the palette, the uh, tempera cakes, they actually come deep in the middle like that so you can lay some water in there and just let it sit there so you get a pool of color because it's not going to help you when you're mixing if you're mixing you're going to want to use a palette but if you're just using straight colors so look what happens when I lay color especially wet color over the white crayon yeah some of you may have already done this with Easter eggs you know the Easter egg kit sometimes comes with a a clear crayon but anyway this is this and I'm gonna do with a it's definitely a thicker stronger effect when you do with China marker so I'm just gonna create some motifs again you know you might be using it to imitate a pattern that already exists or you might just be doodling and playing which I highly recommend <laughs> whether you're doing it for fashion or just for your own uh, just for your own pleasure. For your own pleasure is the best way to start. Okay, I ran out of um, tip on my china marker. And then I'm going to paint over this. And again, I get resist effect. So you can do that if you're trying to recreate a batik or just for your own art pleasure if you're exploring ideas for print or um create actually i use it this technique a lot in my own paintings which i haven't really shared in this space so you may not know what i'm talking about okay but uh i'm sure just looking at that sparks your imagination and that was my purpose here today so um China markers, they're like a, one or two dollars. I can usually find them at art supply stores. Um, it's actually made by the Sharpie brand, this one here. And they're a real pain, actually, to sharpen. I just ran out and I have to... But anyway, for more tips, updates, I have two websites. I have fashionillustrationtribe.com for working on model drawing, fashion illustration portfolio. And uh, all this kind of fabric, rendering techniques, um, creating fashion art. And I'm really passionate in that program that moving forward, we're, we're looking at the new 
the new fashion, sustainable fashion, re creating a new vision for fashion, um, kinder, ethical, um, both with body image and production methods. The woman making the clothes, the woman wearing the clothes, we're all equals. We gotta make a better world for fashion and while we can sit here and be upset about the way our fashion happens. I mean, most people, we don't even think about it. But I want to create a space where we are constantly following people who are doing things a new way. Smaller businesses that are successful, but creating new models for production, new models for the image. And I hope you'll join me on that journey and be a vital part of it. Okay. I have my course opening up for fall. Um, you can see that on the website as well. Actually, I've decided instead of having one start date, I've just set it up. There are 12 spaces, and you can enroll at any time between now and when it fills. So it's going to be a first-come, first-served basis, and that's at www.fashionillustrationtribe.com. For parents and children of all ages with creativity, I'm also, um, I have Art is Your Birthright. Uh, www.artisyourbirthright.com. Not creating any classes or products, but I'll be blogging about creativity and art, all, all creative art, music, movement, writing, everything, and just ways that we can free ourselves up to be our the creators that we are, just for the primarily for the joy, the healing, the love of expressing ourselves. Um, I'm a fashion design major, fashion design teacher, and a designer, but I'm also a mother, and I believe more than anything, the you know that's the first thing in my life is my family, and I want to foster loving business models, family centered business, and art as a as expression and helping us have freedom to explore art because I know so many of us grew up in not so, and maybe not for me, but I, I noticed most people I talk to not so supportive creating environments. And um, I want to open space that are really allowing, encouraging and fun. So hope to see you there. Um, you can hope you'll subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for another video soon. Have a great Sunday or whatever day it is by the time you see this. <laughs> Bye.